Old Cooney, Old Coach Road, cycle trail. Just over 15 k's in one direction, can get a shuttle back or turn around and, and pedal back. That's what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna be a 30 k or thereabouts round trip. Two and a half hours, three hours maybe, the more you stop and have a look around and have a nosy and take photographs like I'm planning to do. It could be a four or five hour job. It's gonna be quite spectacular, I reckon. The forecast for tomorrow is full sun. That being the case, the Fujifilm X-Pro2 with its 850 nanometer converted black and white sensor some more ir photography i'm going to take the leica q2 as well because you know we might get some nice color in there somewhere along the lines anticipating the leica will stay in the bag <laughs> and the old infrared camera will be out there doing its business i just need to get packed to get everything taking plenty of bottles of water oh what else I need? oh a bike obviously i've got to take a bike I better get the old bike pump out and give the tyres a good old sorting out. Head torch, obviously, because I'm going to be going through some railway tunnels. It gets pitch black in the middle, so uh, without a head torch, I could be screwed. So we've got a slight plan change today. After doing a little bit of research last night, it turns out... Morning, mate. Hello. Stunning day for it, can't wait. So I booked on the shuttle. I didn't realise how the pit place was there. You know that, uh, that scrapyard? Yeah. So I'm going to spend a bit of time around there and I'm get a few yeah. photos. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Yeah, so as I was saying, we've got one little area that I didn't know about, a place called Horopito, the other side of the cycle track. It's got an old car wreckers yard there. It was in a movie back in the 80s called Smash Palace, a famous Kiwi movie. And I've seen a couple of videos on it. It looks stunning. So we're going to spend a bit of time there, make a few photos. If the weather plays ball, we'll get some infrared photographs of the car yard. I've seen plenty of photographs online of the car yard as it is, normal spectrum photography, but I've not yet seen anything in infrared. So uh, that's, that's, my, that's my kind of goal. As soon as I pulled into the car yard, it was immediately obvious why every photograph I've seen of this place was shot in color. The rusty wrecks, colors of some of the vehicles, it, it, it just screamed color, the whole way screamed color. So I had a look around the car yard, used the GoPro to get some footage, and took out the Leica Q2 occasionally, popping off a few shots. The sun was intermittent coming in and out of the clouds, and when, and when it did come out of the clouds, it made some nice photographs.
After about an hour looking round and being amazed by the scale of the place, I thought, right, let's let's change up. I've got my colour shots. The Leica Q2 has done the business. Let's step it up. So I whipped out the infrared camera, started to record some video footage and knocking off a few photographs as I went along. Initially, I wasn't overly keen on the infrared because the sun was in and out and, and the photographs that I got when the sun was out looked really cool, but I wasn't sure about the ones in shade. Once I got back to the computer, started loading them, did a little bit of an edit on the photographs and I, I can't decide which I prefer. Do I prefer the colour ones or do I prefer the infrared? My initial gut feeling is I prefer the infrared for the only reason that I've not seen infrared photographs shot there before and uh, so I think in that sense it's a little bit unique, a little bit different and I think that's why the photographs are resonating with me as much as they are. Do you prefer the colour versions or do you prefer the infrared shots? If you're ever in the area get down there have a look around. If you're not a car enthusiast like me and you wouldn't know the arse end of the car <laughs> from the front just go down there anyway if you're keen on photography or just, just keen on looking at rusty old gnarly stuff it's the place to be. I think it was about 10 or 15 dollars to get in there there's a coffee cart at the front so a cracking cup of coffee wander around take as long as you like and it, oh mate honestly really 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 impressive On the next episode, we will continue this old coach road trip. I actually get on the bike and I start pedaling the old coach road. Let me tell you, loved it, absolutely loved it. All right, thanks for checking in. See you later. Look after yourselves. Oh man, this is freaky. This is freaky. It's so tempting to look over the side, but ah, balls to that.